Okay, in this video I want to do a little follow-up to other videos out there. In other videos you'll look at, you'll see the basics for creating a blog over at Blogger. Now I want to kind of carry on a little bit more and just show you a couple of quick layout features. So I'm going to create a blog myself. Now I've already got a Blogger account, as you do too. If you've already got a Gmail account, then you've got a Blogger account, Google owning Blogger. So you can use the same login. And you're going to create a blog, and you can use any template you like. I'm going to create a blog from my dashboard. And the dashboard is the place where you can interact with your one or several blogs. I have 13 blogs on here, but none of them I maintain on a regular basis. I'm going to click my Create a Blog option, and I'm just going to do a little test blog here. And this will be my summer summer test blog, that's what I'll call it, very creative name. And I'm going to get to the blog address URL. Web addresses, it's best if they're all lowercase letters and you shouldn't use any spaces at all. You can use a, a hyphen or an underscore if you wanted to give the impression of a space. So my blog address, I'm going to call it uh, Ralph Summer and it will be .blogspot.com. I'm going to do a quick check availability. No two people can have the exact same blog address. So I'm going to check let me make sure that I'm not script blocking here. Allow blogger. And let me do this again. Great, it's available. So let me see if I can't. I'm going to see what if I can do Ralph Phillips. Check availability. Hey, that's available too. I'm going to grab that one. Ralph Phillips is free for me to use. All right, word verification. Oh, great. I am always suck at these. I think that's a... P-R-O-T-O. -O. I'm, I'm going to use all lowercase letters. Uh-oh, I must have screwed up on it. All right, so let me try this one. I-M-M-E-R. Oh, crap. There's something else in there, isn't there? I think it's another R. R-E. Hey, look at that. All right, so I get to part where I can choose my template. You can always change your mind at a later date. These templates have been around for a long time, and I think a lot of people are getting kind of bored, but you can get other templates out there. I will start off, I think, with this uh, Rounders 3. Okay, that's selected. Scroll down and continue. Your blog has been created. Start blogging. Okay, so this is my main console here. Here's my summer test blog. By the way, I can change the title of this too at any time I want. Um, I'm here in the posting category, so let me go and do a quick test post. And let's see, uh, blogs are fun. That'll be the title of my blog. And let me go ahead and put in um, some text here. This is some text in my first post on my new blog. And I'll press my enter key a couple times. I'm going to insert an image too. I'm going to go and insert an image. And I'm going to find one off of my computer. So I will browse. To my computer. Let's see. I'm going to go to my local disk. Docs and settings. Easier said than done. There it is. That's me. My docs, my pictures. And what do we got here? Try to find a photo that's not copyrighted. There we go. It's a Ralph or Simpsons version of me. Choose layout. Uh, sure, the right sounds good. And I'm going to go ahead and upload the image. done. All right, now I'm in HTML view and this just happens to be the view I tend to use the most, but it's not the most user friendly. Let me jump over to compose view. There we go. So now I can kind of edit my blog post in a fashion that'll look similar to everybody else. So uh, this is my text. All right. I've added a picture over to the right and I found this. All right. Let me do this. I created this image using the free online tool. I think it's called the Simpsonizer. I haven't used it in a while. I'll go double check it really quick. C 
Simpsonizer. Let me, I'll confirm that and then I'll make a hyperlink so you can see how that works. Let me just do a quick open new tab. Let me do a Google and I'm going to type in Simpsonizer and see what I get. Oh, Simpsonize me, that's what it is. All right, so I'm just going to copy the web address where this site is. Copy. I don't really need that anymore. Let me jump back over here. I'm going to select the word. Um, let me. I already forgot it. Simpsonize me, something like that. Let me select it, and I'm going to use the little link tool. There it is, and paste in my web address. Simpsonize me. Click OK, and now it's going to be a hyperlink, so people can click on that and go there. All right, so there's a few other things though. We've got numbered list, bulleted list, uh, various alignment tools, text color changes, bold italics, and so forth. All right, but I'm pretty happy with that. I'm going to scroll on down. I'm going to hit publish post. So this is my one post in my blog. Now, to view my blog, I could just go ahead and click it here, but I might want to come back to this edit window. So I could click in a new window, which would be nice. It'll open it up in a new tab for me, or I can simply right click. I'm a Firefox user, right click, open a new tab. Over here, this is my new blog loading up. Notice the web address up here. It's ralphphillips.blogspot.com. There's the title of my blog. Here's my first post dated today, which is Monday, July 6. And there we go. Now I wanted to show you a couple other things that we could change about this. Let me jump back over to my blogger settings. And notice that I can go to my main settings and there's a bunch of options in here to change. Publishing and formatting and so forth. We'll check out these later on I think in the term. Layout. Check out layout for a, so, for a second. I've got the followers gadget, the blog archive gadget, the about me gadget. Um, I'm going to click on edit for about me and I'm going to remove this gadget little remove option in the lower left. And I'm going to click on the followers gadget. Let me edit that. And I'm going to remove that button in the lower left. And I'm going to add a gadget. Let's see what other fun stuff we can add on here. Followers is new. Search box is new. If I have a chunk of HTML or JavaScript I can put in, that's fine. I can put AdSense. I can start putting ads on my blog. Slideshow video bar. Displays clips from YouTube. That sounds interesting. Let me add that one. Title will be video bar. In fact, let's put in uh, Rouse Vids. And uh, I'm going to look for a channel, RR Phillips. And keywords, how about um, internet? Okay, and then I'll click, oh, my submit button isn't going to show up, I think, on my recorder. But there's a save button in the lower right. Let me click that. Okay, now I've got a Ralph's Vids category. Let's see how this looks. I'm going to go ahead and hit Save. Changes have been saved. Now my blog is already open in this other tab, so let me just jump over here and hit Refresh. It's, gonna, it's loading up Ralph's Vids. There we go. So now I've got some YouTube video thumbnails embedded. And these are just some various YouTube videos that I've got in my channel. All right, so this is pretty easy. Create a blog, choose a template, post something, change the layout or gadgets if you like. Let me show you something else. I can just jump back over to my edit window, go back to the posting category. I can put in a brand new post, and you can keep updating. Well, what if you want to get rid of one of your older posts? Just head over to Edit Posts. There's a list of my posts. I only have one, and I could click on it and delete it. There's a delete option over here at the link, or I could edit it and change the words or change the picture. So it's really easy to work with this. And of course, I can go back to my dashboard, and I can work on my most recent blog, or I can work on some of my older blogs.